as a leader, I think you have to figure out um, like a football club, whether you are the owner, the manager, or the coach. Each of those three individuals are all leaders to say the sports team. But as any of you know that know anything about sport, um, they're three very different people with three de very different hats on, three de very different approaches to people and jobs to do. Of course, the owner is all about profitability and the owner is all about productivity, um, but is very much aware of the bottom line if the team lose the bottom line financially. Um, uh, because the owners are normally the finances and the, 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 the big backers financially of the football club in, case, in, in terms of that analogy. The manager then um, is managing the team and he's much more hands-on and he is between the owner and the players. And I, I know um, leaders like that, especially uh, in the church, but in the, in, in the secular world, that, that, that hands-on manager that's not really bothered about the big picture of the profitability like the owner would be but he's very committed to winning of course winning reflects on his own record and his own position very often um, but the manager um, is managing he's not owning he's got, not got that hat on he's managing he's shaping that team uh, to be a winning team and he works very close as you know with the coach the coach is on the pitch kicking the ball around with the players, he is keeping their fitness strong, he's very involved in their lives, um, he's very involved in, in tactics and strategy for how to play the team in the best positions on the field. And I, I have known, I think when, when we struggle in leadership is when the owner uh, tries to be the coach um, and there's a huge gap in his style and his language and his presentation of himself to the people in the trenches on the pitch. And uh, I've been in too many settings where the leader gets on the stage and he's, he's like a manager or an owner um, and there's nobody in the trenches with the people. The language is too far removed. It's not practical enough. Um, it lacks sensitivity to how this lands in people's worlds. And every church and every leadership team, every organization needs all these three individuals. But I think when it comes to the local church, and many of you in that world like me, we have to make sure that we're strong on the coaching element of what we do. That you may be a leader that is very much a manager, which is great, but it's still too far removed just to have that hat on, to inspire and motivate people to play their hearts out for you. So you need the coach that's in the trenches with the people, making very practical and very real and very user-friendly. Often managers don't do that, coaches do. Um, what it is that we're trying to get the team to buy into uh, and to perform to that level. So figure out which of those you are and then settle into being the best you can at being that. But don't try to cross over because that's where it gets messy and confusing for people who are following us. Find out your primary strength. Are you the owner, leader? Are you the manager leader? Are you the coach leader? And just be whichever of those you are best at being. Uh, others can be those other things that you're not. Um, you may not have the others in place and you may feel we're weak in the owner category, we're weak in the manager category. So you try to be that, um, but you'll never be a good one of those if God didn't wire you that way. So be the best you can at what you are and others will emerge to become those other roles around you. So figure out which you are and be the best you can of those.